church key. Could have got a shot of that. It just came from the church key brewery. Had a pint with Phil. It's very good. That's our second time stopping in there. We stopped in last summer, and the whole thing was a total, total mess. We uh, got a pint, but we had no idea what we were doing. We ended up uh, ordering a pint glass with the pint in it, unbeknownst to us that we actually had to pay for the glass as well as the pint. So anyhow, as we explained it to the dude working at the bar, he's like, yeah, no worries, no problems. And he gave us the glasses for free, which is pretty cool. And I still have it to this day. So I've been wanting to go back ever since then. And that's our first time. I think, they were, I think we've tried to go by a few times, but they didn't seem to have the uh, their bar open where they're actually serving the public at their little uh, picnic tables and everything there. But anyhow, we stopped in today and uh, they're open and it was great. We got to sample, what do they have? They had a, it was, I can't remember, it was like chocolate cow stout. Weird. I don't know. It was awesome. It's just like a dark stout beer. It was great. Phil got that. And I got the uh, the red. Because I always like Rickard's red. And this is like their their take on red. Anyhow, it was, it was awesome. I liked it very much. Uh, very good. Very much a red. I don't know. Whatever. Red. Red. Like me. Red. It was good. And we tried to get some to go, but they don't have bottles of the red or the chocolate cow, whatever it's called. So we ended up, uh, we ended up getting, what did we get? We got, uh, something new, another, I'll have to look at the bottle when I get back. It's a totally different one. The only one that they had in a, in a bottle that we could just get like two regular kind of bottles of beer were uh, the smoke one and the smoke one was good but the problem with it was it was like it's like eating a smoky it was smoky it's like eating a smoked it's like smoked meat into a liquid it was, it was good if you like it and it's gross if you don't like smoke it definitely had the smoke flavor I liked it but I don't know that I want to drink a lot of them probably really good with like uh, barbecue if you're doing like ribs or something like that uh, yeah. so we got some other ones like sweet and smoky and the girl working the counter, she said it was good. So we're taking her word for it. <coughs> and we seem to be having a bit of a competition between Phil and I now. Who can get our pint of beer home without it being uh, exploded? Phil's got his in his little bag there that he's got attached to his backrest. Then I've got mine back here in the uh, saddlebag. And we'll see whose beer is not exploded by the time we get home. I think it's going to be Phil. Here's hoping. Where are we headed now? We're just headed back. I don't think we're stopping anywhere else. Oh, I know. We're supposed to be going to see the giant Toonie. The pride of Campbellford. Uh, for anybody who's from another country other than Canada, we have a $2 coin. Right? And it's called the Toonie. Why? Because it's <coughs> related to... The loony, which was our one dollar coin, which has a loon on it. So it makes sense calling it a loon. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense, but it's called the loony. And then when they brought out the two dollar coin, people think they're clever. So they started calling it a toonie, as in two dollars toonie, even though it makes no sense because it doesn't have a, well, it has a two on it, but it has a polar bear on it. So anyhow, what bike is that? Anyhow, they called it a toonie. But I think the person who designed the Toonie, whatever came up with the design for it, lives here in Campbellford. And there's this giant monument, which Phil has never bothered to tell me about. But apparently we've ridden by it many, many times that we've gone through Campbellford. And it's this giant monument of a Toonie. So that's where we're headed now, so that he can show me the Toonie, to show me that it exists. But, with it, my faithful guide Phil showing it to me, I had to discover it online for some reason I was googling Campbellford and it came up as a uh, whatever attraction or thing to see so 
Let's go see it. I wonder what's in there. What the hell was that? Chinese restaurant. It's funny how every little teeny town has a Chinese restaurant. That's a good little restaurant if you're up Which there one? want to eat like a breakfast or something. Which one? Riverview restaurant right there. Yeah? It's pretty good. <gasps> I see it. The toonie. No wonder you can't see it. It's all lit. lit. It's hidden in trees. <laughs> I see it. It's hidden all in behind the trees. You see it? Yeah. Right there, you can see just past the flag. Yeah. Well, no wonder I've never seen it before. It's so hidden. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all trees in the way. You can see her. You see her reflection in there. You can see her reflection in his truck. Yeah. Oh, look at those handsome fellows. All right, let's go see this toonie up close. I can't see it. Can you see it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, that's like super obvious. Other than the trees. Still, coming the other way. I should have seen that before. I've never noticed it. Oh, well. Because here is the Canadian Tire where the bike meet is every... Thursday in Campbellford. Where she be? Almost no bikes in sight compared to Thursday night when it's always super busy. You were gonna cut us up there, Mr. Officer Man. We're not even speeding. Definitely a nice little town. I like the little river. Um, that's about all I know. The river, the giant toonie. That seems like a nice little place. Yep. River, toonie, Canadian Tire. What more do you need?